Todd's Aerospace Limited specialises in advanced materials technology. The Somerset-based company engineers and manufactures lightweight, high-strength components for maritime, military and civil aviation applications and is a silver supplier to nearby Augusta Westland. Todd supplies composite parts for many different Augusta Westland aircraft, including the AW159 Lynx Wildcat. The company has invested heavily in design and manufacturing technology to become a preferred supplier of structural and fuselage parts that it delivers regularly to its prestigious client. To ensure these parts meet its customers' high standards, Todd's recently invested in a CMS 5-axis router equipped with a Renishaw RMP600 touch probe. This is a CMS 5-axis machine that we currently use for manufacturing most of our components. We actually use the RMP600 probe now to actually firstly align the components and secondly we actually use it for first article inspection and further inspections after that. One particular reason for purchasing the probe was to align and machine the AW159 cabin roof. The company now produces its own CMM reports generated from the Renishaw OMV software and the RMP600. Since we purchased the probe we found that we can actually align jig components very accurately and we can actually machine components accurately whereas before we had to clock them in manually it could take anywhere up to like two or three hours. We can now put a standard component on the machine, align it within 10 minutes and start machining it within you know, 15, 20 minutes. I'm Martin Perks, Quality Director here at Todd's Aerospace. Uh, the acquisition of the Renishaw probe has been really useful for us uh, in terms of the, the accuracy and the agility that that piece of kit will, will bring to us. Digital manufacture, digital design uh, has given different sorts of tolerances and different features which using traditional measuring equipment such as micrometers and vernier calipers doesn't really get us to the level of quality and accuracy and checking that we require. We're still in the early stages of getting to know the probe's capabilities, concludes Bob Young, but we are very happy with the accuracy and the consequent reduction in expensive scrap components further down the production line.